Hi everyone, I thought I would show you how to work this packing folder. We are packing for our Canada and New England cruise, so I thought I would just show you how to do this. It comes with an instructional piece here, and so it's just a matter of following directions, but I thought I would show you anyway. You put your garment face down, and then you place your packet folder instruction sheet on top, and then you just fold it over Hold your sleeves down like you would normally fold, but it kind of gives you a the size exact. It folds it to the exact size that you're going to need to go in your folder, and then you just pull up the bottom to where it stops. You can feel it, and then you remove the instructions. And I turn them over and put them like this so that they lay flatter. But there you go. How easy peasy is that? Let's do one more. Put it face down. My handy dandy little instruction. Hold one sleeve over and then the other side over. Hold up the bottom. And pull it out. Actually, I should have pulled it out after I turned it over, but anyway it over and then a little tweaking and there you go you will not have one wrinkle anywhere trust me easy peasy love it all right I'm getting ready to shut this up as you can see I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine tops two of them though are to go under my ponchos so I am taking a little bit extra, but not too many extra. But let's see how I can close this up. I had like 20 tops going to Hawaii, but of course they were lighter weight tops. So there we go. And that's it. Plenty of room. I can still see that there's some wiggle room in there if I wanted to add more, which I'm not going to. I'm trying not to overpack. Look, it even has a handle on it. So I've got that, and then here are all of my pants and my two ponchos. I'll have those. This is all my unmentionables and socks. And then I'm going to pack up my nightgown and my night knock-around clothes here my little fancy dancy little slippers to match and I'll be done other than just to stick my shoes in which I think I'm going to stick them in there I am taking my boots so they'll take up some room but that's it and you can see I'm going to have plenty of room in my suitcase over here for here's my bags That's for my breakable cosmetics. This is all my must-haves in there. A couple of cups. Here's another shoe bag I got, so I'll be able to do that. This is our medications. Here's my jewelry. Here's my magnet. <laughs> and I'll need one other bag for my cosmetic bag and one other bag for some brushes. And that's it, and I'll be done. I'll be back. I'll show you when everything is finished. Well, as hard as I've tried, I can't seem to fit everything in my big suitcase. So, what we have decided to do is to take the medium-sized bureau bag as well. And not only does it hold my few things that are an overage, but also some of Chris's things too. Some of the camera like the tripod and a couple of other things. And this will not be extremely full, and there's my Weekender bag there. So this will be on the light side, and we'll hand that off at the pier to them to take to our room. So that way I won't have to lug my big suitcase. Chris did not want me to give them the Weekender bag. He thought it was too nice, and they might manhandle it and he wants it to stay kind of nice so 
that will go in there. We will roll three suitcases across the parking lot and hand them off to them. Then Chris will have a backpack and I will have a backpack to carry on. And here, just to let you know, I have uh, my folder with all my shirts, my cube with all my pants and the two ponchos. I've got my night clothes and my knock around clothes and a pair of leggings in there. My mentionables, my shoes there, my boots there. Our medication, those two cups and my breakable perfume and shampoo and conditioner. And yes, for those of you who are wondering why in the world does she have hangers in there? Who in the world needs hangers? You just have to ask for more. That's all. They'll give you more. They'll give you as many as you want. And they will. And they are wonderful. And they will do that for me. But my problem is, if my shirt doesn't stay on one of their hangers, it won't stay on another one of their hangers. So I need to get, take some hangers with me where my shirts will stay put. So I take them. They're very lightweight. And as you can see, I plop them right on the top. And they don't hardly add anything. So, tomorrow morning we'll leave this bag, this bag is ready to go in the car. We'll leave that bag in here and these three bags, this is my cosmetic bag here. I'll finish loading that tomorrow morning. So my brushes and my curling iron. And those three will go in that bag tomorrow morning and I'll pack up my computer tonight when I'm done into my backpack. And everything's ready to go in there. And we are ready to roll. I have to say one more thing. Hang on a second. I have been, for my entire life, I have been a planner and been an organizer. And in the past, when things have not gone the way I had planned them, like this little packing fiasco here, oh my goodness, I probably would have had a meltdown and I would have gotten frustrated and I would have been crying and all that stuff. And now I don't. Now it's like, okay, we got to readjust. It's not wonderful. It's not what I planned. But sometimes you have to be willing to go with the flow. And that's what I did. All right. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.